Get out! Leave! Go on! Go on, leave the club! You can't move that again, man! You fat fucking cabbage! Get out! Get out! Get out, Steve! Leave! Fucking scumbag! Get out! Hey guys, welcome back to another video on channel one. Woohoo, things are spicing up now. Um, a Newcastle fan has been texting me all the last couple of days on Instagram. He's went to the training ground, he went to the St James's Park after the Tottenham game, and he's been directly slagging Steve Bruce off uh, when he's coming out in his car. That is a shit house we I like to see. Apologies for hair, by the way, it, it, it's so long, I know. But uh, pretty much in terms of this guy, it's obviously been DM me. I'm not going to share any of his socials in this video due to how toxic my channel has been last week. I've had multiple threats now. I've had about a thousand comments from the instant last week. I'm, I'm, I'm not fucking having it. Um, I'm going to be as clear as possible here, guys. If anyone directly insults me, if anyone threatens me, I will just block your comment. I will not reply. I will not give you the time of day you deserve. I will just block your comment. That'll be it. You're not be able to comment on the channel again. I'm not fucking having it. It's as simple as that. These people that see these things, they wouldn't dare say it me in real life. It's as simple as this. Um, I've had tens of thousands of negative comments over the years. And you want to guess how many people came up to me in real life? One. Only one has directly came up to me and tried to start something. This is someone, right, the Arsenal way, caked on drugs, right? Um, he gets his Snapchat phone out. He's trying to record. He's trying to get a reaction from us. I told him to fuck off, and he did. That, that's the one time someone's tried to piss me off directly and... Uh, yeah, there's a reason why people don't do it, because the little rats that hide behind the computer I can tell they're in the phones. They don't they wouldn't dare come up to me in real life as simple as that. Um little keyboard warriors are what you're and uh yeah, uh, people I wanna slag you off for what I believe in my morals. Fuck off, I'm not having it. And uh listen, right, in terms of people on Instagram as well, there's people that are just spamming me with messages on Instagram. I will just blank you. I am not having it. Someone sent me twenty four messages without me replying to them. Fuck off. I'm not I'm not reading that many messages. Especially when you spout an utter shit as well. But uh enough about that guys. So I appreciate all the support as always. Thank you for the people that obviously stuck by me. Thank you for the people that are subscribed. Cheers. I apologize for bringing in this video again, but I've had over a thousand comments on the last week. I'm not having it. Uh, it's it's pissing me off. It's as simple as that. But anyway though, uh, enough about that. On the actual video, like I said, um Pretty much this kid, um, he's been going to obviously the training ground the last few days. He's just waiting for the manager, waiting for him to come out and slag him off. Um, I I'll be real. I'm going to be honest as possible here. I, I don't agree with calling the guy fat. Um, Steve Bruce is still a human being, but I can understand some people arguing against him going, listen, this guy's on millions of pounds. He's won two last 21 games. If I want to call him fat, I will call him fat. Some people will be like that and okay, I, I get it. But personally for me, I, I would refrain from calling him fat, but... I definitely uh, agree with, you know, actually standing there and letting him know that he's a shit manager, um, which is what he's done. I uh, respect him for that. Um, absolute legend, mate. But uh, pretty much, guys, I'm going to put a couple of clips on the screen now of players that have obviously uh, came out as well. Get the goal of Burnley. Yes. See you later. So yeah, I'm one Matty Longstaff acknowledging them, absolute legends you could say, but uh, now uh, in terms of the actual thing itself, uh, people might slag the kid off, but listen, I respect anyone that tries to do the right thing for this football club. Yes, it may not be a big thing, you know, going to the training ground and slagging the manager off, but listen, it lets the manager know that, listen, all the fans do not like you, that one person has went out his way just to slag you off, that's how pissed off he is with you. I don't blame him one bit, um, it's as simple as that. But yeah, uh, I thought I'd make a video on it, just obviously acknowledge the work, I guess. Uh, it may have been DM me on Instagram, so you could say it's an exclusive video. I could say uh, not many people have seen this one, but listen now, um, I appreciate obviously him, him supporting my channel, and uh, yeah, it's something I thought I'd make a video on, so I thought I'd do it. But in terms of tonight, guys, obviously, obviously I was talking about the threats earlier. Um, I will be on uh, the Tomb of You show, Paul Shaw Court, and uh, obviously he's been threatened quite a bit as well. He's had a massive rant about Steve yesterday. Fair play, by the way, I loved that rant. But uh, I will be on there tonight, so uh, yeah, there will be a plenty more comments, of course, about that on there. That's obviously the thing you want to see, but I'll put the link down for that below. But uh, in terms of obviously the guy that's, again, went to training ground, I'm not going to put his socials in just due, due to how toxic it's been last week. I don't want him getting any bad messages, essentially. But thank you guys for watching. Take care, and yes, I'll see you on the next one.